On February 10, 1981, Commissioner Ambach was questioned by WRGB newsmen Ed Daig and Ernie Tetro about Governor Carey's education budget. The commissioner responded to their questions from the Regents' Room in the Education Department during the live 6 p.m. news program. Note, technical quality during the live broadcast was poor. Therefore, this videotape recording is also poor. New York's education community, of course, is battling Governor Carey's efforts to limit education aid increases. And so the state education commissioner, Gordon Ambach, joins us tonight live from the education department in Albany. Commissioner Ambach, good evening. Good evening. About two weeks ago, in a similar appearance, Governor Carey defended his proposed education budget really by saying two things. One, that in recent years, he has given increases to education that go way beyond the, the consumer price index increase. And secondly, that the number of students in the state is falling after all, and so education should not need though, that sort of increase. What do you think about that? Well, we disagree. Uh, the governor's proposals in the past three years, of course, have been well below what the legislature, in fact, appropriated. Last year, the legislature appropriated about $340 million of additional aid to the public schools. That was way above what the governor had proposed. And this year, of course, the governor's proposals are way below what the regents have advanced as what we think are needs for the school systems. But the education, the population in our schools is falling. Why do you need so much more money every year when you're dealing with fewer students? The population, of course, is dropping. The difference between this year and next year will be a drop of about 3.7%, and it's been dropping in the past few years. But I would note that the total expenditures for education in the past few years have also been very far below what have been consumer price index levels or infl inflationary levels. In fact, the increases in spending for education in the latter part of the 70s were way below the percentage increases for education when enrollments were going up back in the 1960s. Commissioner, is there any question in your mind that uh, as far as the taxpayer, the, the real property taxpayer, that the cupboard is bare as far as any further tax increases and that if taxes go up much more, you're going to have a taxpayer's revolt similar to what happened in Massachusetts on your hands? We certainly, uh, we do have a revolt, and we're going to have a continued revolt on local property taxes. That's precisely the reason why we have recommended that there be a substantial increase of state aid this year. Right now, the state is providing about 39% of the cost of elementary and secondary education. Under our proposal, that state percentage would have gone up to 40% next year. Under the governor's proposal, it's likely that the state portion will drop down to about 37 or 36 percent. The only way that you can make up the difference is by going to local property tax or cutting services. We don't want to do either. We cannot place more of a burden on local property tax. We've got to distribute that funding more evenly so that the state picks up a bigger share. Commissioner, what's the difference, though, either paying the tax to the state or paying it to your local school district? Well, the difference is in the nature of the taxes. If you're working at the local school district level, of course, it's predominantly the property tax, which is quite an inflexible tax. If you're working with the state taxes, you're working with corporate taxes, you're working with income taxes, and of course, to a certain extent, with some property tax. But there's a more flexible tax base. There's no question about it. It is more indicative of changes in the economy, and we think it's much more important to increase that state load. I might add one other thing. We do have the Levittown case in the background, the whole issue of equalizing aid among our districts. We can't do that unless we increase the state portion of the expenditures. Commissioner Ambach, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you.